Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Welcome in. Today we're going to be playing Final Fantasy X. We're going to be finally finishing up all of those Blitzball streams and getting Waka's Celestial Weapon. I'm really excited for it. But first, we have to talk about a couple of things. We have to talk about a couple of things. So welcome in Kitty, welcome in Koneko. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Koneko with the first today. Um, yeah, Kitty, I'm, I'm, really, um, I'm really proud of the... Uh, I'm really proud of the Harry Potter stream, so I'm glad that you like them. Um, but we have to talk about a little bit first. I have some thank yous to give out. So these are thank yous for people that purchased uh, wish, wish list gifts for me. So I have a huge thank you to say to Rose, who is a newer viewer that um, got a couple of things for me off of my wish list. So if you haven't noticed, the angle of the camera is a little bit different. So I have an actual tripod for the camera now instead of connecting it straight to my monitor. So, um, so that's really good. I'm really happy about that. Um, and also you can see in the background here, I have got now this, yeah, this guy right here. I have got now uh, an essential oils diffuser. I have to get some oils for it, but I've been using the light and it's really lovely. Um, thank you so much, Kitty and Koneko, for contributing to finishing the Doki Doki Literature Club stream. If we get all the way through that, then I will do that after I'm done with Final Fantasy X. So I've got this really cute note from, from Rose that says, I like good smells as well, so smell some for me, please. And as a smiley face, so you can see that right here. Very cute. Oh, it's not focusing right, but you can read it well enough. It's close enough. Um, the other thing, I have to actually get up to show you guys this, but she got me something else as well. So we're going to switch over to webcam number two. I know it doesn't it doesn't look very good, but uh, but this but it's focused on back here because I rearranged and put all of my pins back up. So all of them are now here on on the curtain again. And um, she got me some little kitty cat pins. So there's a little strawberry kitty cat right here. There's some kitty cats hugging over here. There's a little, there's a little moon kitty cat, right? And um, this little book kitty cat says, go away, I'm busy. So it's very cute. Um, and she included a little gift for that too, or a little note for that, those gifts as well. It says, it's so cute. Hope you put them in your background for your videos. I definitely will, Rose. So let's back go back to the regular camera and um, we'll actually keep it there for a second while I switch this back to the correct angle for baby cam. We do have some babies here today. If anybody wants to see those, oh, that is really zoomed in. Um, I don't think it'll actually be like that on the baby cam because I zoomed it in pretty far so we could see the uh, the curtain. So there we go. That's back at the regular angle. I think that's probably close. Um, and then last but not least, there is another thing in my background which you probably only noticed uh, when I move my head because my head's kind of blocking it. But here I'll swivel out the way. What? What's that? So. Landon, um, who is, is not here, I know she doesn't normally come to the Thursday stream, so somebody will have to tell her that, uh, that I said this so she can come back and watch the beginning of this VOD, but I have this dream, as y'all learned last Thursday, to someday make dice. And, and I posted, a, I made a wish list. It was supposed to be personal for myself, but y'all asked for a link, so I, I posted the link. Actually, I think that was on Saturday. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It was a previous stream. And so Landon, in all of her wisdom, purchased the silicone off of that wish list with the logic of, well, this is useless for anything else, so now she'll have to make the dice. And she's absolutely right. And she also included a note that says, all caps, make dice, bitch, with love from Landon. So here we can, we can, see, we can see this. So, so now I have to make dice, bitch. So that's going to be something that I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna have to do. Um, I've, I've still got several things I have to get from there. So if anybody else would like to contribute, here's the wish list again. And that's probably the last time I'm gonna post it because today was also payday, uh, which means that uh, this weekend I'm gonna actually get all of the supplies and we're gonna try to make dice. And I know several people have asked for a dice making stream. Um, the process of, of doing resin casting is a several day process. Uh, as I have learned, so it's not something we can just do in a stream and then the dice come out. So I think it's going to have to be um, a YouTube video as far as content goes, but I will absolutely film everything that I do and, and we'll do voiceovers and I'll explain my experiences um, and what it's been like because um, I have watched about probably like a thousand hours 
of resin casting and dice making YouTube videos. So we'll see if I can translate any of that viewing over to, you know, actually making something. We'll, fi we'll find out together. I don't know. Uh, actually doing something is very different than watching a tutorial on doing something. So we'll find out. We'll find out. All right, guys. So that's the announcements I wanted to share with y'all. Thank you so much again to both Landon and Rose. Uh, you guys are awesome. I love you guys. Um, and as everybody knows, I would not be able to do the stream properly without the support of you guys. Most of the things that I have are because you guys have either purchased it for me or, or donated um, or things of that nature. All right, so it's time for the quiz. We're gonna be doing Cowboy Bebop because on Saturday, we're gonna be talking about Cowboy Bebop. So we're gonna do which Cowboy Bebop character are you? I hear the, I hear the dog crying. Ri, why are you crying? Where are you? Oh, I think she's out the, she wants in, I think. Let me open the door. I've got it closed. So y'all don't hear the boom, boom explosions from the boys playing Call of Duty. Come on. Uh oh. <laughs> as soon as I went to open the door, Levi's hand was there and he was about to do the exact same thing. Anyway. <laughs> All right, which Cowboy Bebop character are you? Let's find out which Cowboy Bebop character am I? All right, we're gonna pick a color. Red, blue, black, yellow, white. Well, they don't have pink or purple. So we're going with blue. Uh, pick a Lord song. Ribs, the Louvre, Supercut, A World Alone, Still Sane. Uh, where's Royals? Come on now. That, I know that was like an, an older song, but gosh, it was good. Um, I guess probably Ribs. I don't know. I'd have to like go back and re-listen to the songs to make a really informed choice. We're not going to do all that. So we're going with Ribs. What's your love life like? I got hoes, but it's nothing serious. Single and ready to mingle. Not interested in dating at the moment. Love is heartache waiting to happen. Where's where's the happily married option? I guess no one in Cowboy Bebop is happily married, huh? Um, not interested in dating at the minute, I guess is the closest answer that I can provide. What do you think our purpose is? We must have a purpose. It is not enough to have fun. Who cares? Happiness, love, we don't have a purpose, we live then we die. Uh, somewhere between happiness and who cares, I'm gonna go with happiness. It does, it discriminates against against taken people. Where? What about people in relationships? What about people in relationships? Okay, happiness. Uh, what's your zodiac sign? Oh, I'm a Cancer. Oh, they group them by, oh, okay, they're grouping them by element. All right, well, I'm a Cancer, so there we go. What do you do on a Saturday night? Chilling at home, mindlessly doing whatever I want. It's probably that one, but let's read the rest of them. Uh, being a sexy gamer. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Uh, whatever my friends want. Working, studying. Errands, definitely not on Saturday night. Those are morning activities. Um, relaxing and doing self-care antics. It might be this one. It might be this one. Um, be a sexy gamer. I don't know. Am, am I looking sexy today? On a, on a scale of 1 to 10, how sexy today. Oh, Koneko, tell us who you got. Tell us who you got. I want to see. This goes to 11. Okay, Kitty, for you then. For you, Kitty, I will choose being a sexy gamer. Okay, pick a Cowboy Bebop ending card. Easy come, easy go. See you, Space Cowboy. Do you have a comrade? You're going to carry that weight. Life is but a dream. See you, Space Cowgirl, somewhere, someplace. I got to go with the Cowgirl one. We got to go with the Cowgirl one. Oh, you got Spike! You're lazy and you're cheap. <laughs> you're lonely and you've got a complicated past. You hate when people try to know you, but you're still a sweetie and a badass. Aww. That's a nice description of Spike. Are you a furry? Yeah, no, but I support them. I wouldn't hesitate to shoot a fur- <gasps> Where's the neutral option? Oh my word. Okay, we don't shoot furries here, guys. <laughs> no, but I support them. There we go. I got Ed! Yeah! Ed is definitely a favorite for me. Uh, Ed, is a, Ed is a wonderful, beautiful, um, non-binary icon. She, they, and I think, anyway. You know, we can debate that. Um, you're a bit random, but also you're super smart, curious, and hungry. That's all true. All of those things are true about me. I'm very hungry and curious and a little bit smart. Uh, you just want some friends and an animal sidekick. I have many! 
We have the kittens, Queen's over there, Ree's down by my foot, Ash I assume is actually with Jeff right now. Um, I'm surprised Oreo's in here with me, but I think Oreo wanted to come hang out with Queen. Um, you might be non-binary, gender non-conforming, your baby. I don't know if I'm baby, but I think the rest of this applies pretty dang well. <laughs> um, Kitty, tell me once you have a chance to take the quiz, or if you're taking it right now, who you get. It looks like most people get Spike. There's Faye, Jet, or Ein. You got Ein! <gasps> woof, woof, your puppy. <laughs> you're loyal and always chillin'. You might be the quiet one in the group. Everyone wants to take care of you. You're cute as hell. Kitty, you are cute as hell. You, you are 100% cute as hell. So, you know, I can't really... I can't really deny. I love my results too. This is a good quiz. Is there a bad result? No. I mean, I think all of the um, characters in Cowboy Bebop have uh, redeeming and not redeeming qualities. I mean, none of these characters are, are good guys. We'll talk about it all on Saturday. None of them are good guys, but none of them are bad guys either. They're all trying their best. They're all just kind of like, you know, they're just guys. They're just, they're just guys. Um, okay. Let's get the game going, you guys. Okay, we can close that. Let's get the volume up. Let me look at the... Okay, those levels look pretty good, I think. Might be a little quiet. Let me turn myself up a little bit. There we go. Okay. And let's make sure you guys can see. Yes. There we go. Okay, it's showing you now. Resume. Alright, so I ran over to Makalania because... At the end of this stream, we're going to be actually going up and getting Waka's final weapon and finishing it off. But first, we have to play a bunch, bunch of Blitz Ball. So let's play. Um, I got the Jupiter Sigil to pop up on the league. I had to play through the, the previous league that we had ended with before. Um, and I played a couple of games. We're on round four right now, just because I cannot play ten games within one stream. Uh, we won't finish on time. So I played a few. I played too many last time I realized that we did this. That was a couple of Final Fantasy X streams ago. But um, I, I figured I could get away with, like, one less. So that's what we're doing. And we never have to play um, Blitzball again after this, you guys. We can be all done. So this stream will be the last Blitzball stream. And I won't have to touch Blitzball ever again. Won't have to play this freaking thing. It's annoying at first, and um, because you're, you know, you're very bad at it. I feel like I'm very bad at it at first. And then at some point you just, your stats get so high that it becomes um, pretty easy. So these become kind of just chatting streams, <laughs> hanging out with you guys. Um, and, uh, and that is what it is. You work so hard. I feel like I have, I feel like I have um, worked very hard. Oh, I should have just, like, pressed the button instead of trying to swim forward with Rin once he got the ball. I should have just, like, gone, because now he's going to pass it, he's not going to make it. He's going to get blocked. Yeah, I knew it. I saw that 25 block, and I knew Agar was going to get it. We have, but after after this stream, we will have all of their celestial weapons. Absolutely all of them. Um, and so when we go to beat Sin, we'll be kicking his stupid fish ass. Goodbye, Mr. Whale. That's what we'll be saying. That'll be next week. <clears throat> okay. Good job, Nada. Alright, so we're gonna break, and then we'll pass it to Titus, and we'll actually try to score. Oh my god, except for DM will get the ball. How annoying. No, brother um, that they have on their team, you know, y'all have seen him. Um, Riku's brother. Uh, he is actually a really good Blitzball player at the lower levels, but once he gets to the higher levels, he's not so good anymore. So I didn't recruit him, but a lot of people will recommend that you actually do recruit him. And, and so if you see those guides, that's why. Uh, they'll tell you to recruit Brother because at the lower levels, he's, he's actually really good. And um, he can make some, winning some of the early games a lot easier, so you don't have to spend quite as much time leveling up as I did. Hmm. We're gonna no break, and we're gonna do a jack shot. I wanted to get a little closer, but I think I can still make it. Their goalie's catch is not that good. I think with a 40 shot, I can still make it from this far back without any issues. Ah, oh, dang it. 
I was so close. Stupid super goalie. See, he's really fast. Like, he swims, like, lightning fast. Too bad Waka's shit at catching. <clears throat> so I'm still waiting on my new um, emotes, by the way. I did check up on the, the Fiverr order for those, but I'm hoping I'll have them by next Thursday's stream. Kind of looking at the number of orders the my artist has and um, and some stuff like that. And kind of like how fast she's getting the ones that were ahead of me. Um, I think by next Thursday I might have the new emotes. So get look forward to new emote structure coming. Oh my freaking god, this is not- I have to break- Yeah, I have to break two of them. 30, that's 37, that's not gonna happen. We're gonna break DM. And then we're going to try to shoot. Or at least get rid of two of them. So we only have to deal with that 13 and 19. I'm really excited to have new um, emotes. So that'll when I get these in, it'll fill out all of the empty slots that I have for emotes. There we go. Hell yeah. Uh, plus we'll have like new ones to grow into in the, in the bit emotes. And also um, ones to grow into for the... Um, Tier, for the tier one subs subscriptions, but I've never I've never gotten as many as 50 subs within you know one month, um, and that's how many you need to unlock all of the different tier one slots. And I've just never had a, a month where I did that, so um, so we'll have one of those in that slot that we can work up to with getting some more uh, subs on the channel. So that'll be nice and fun. Yeah, we can break to DM, and then let's pass to Titus again. Oh, dang it. DM's too good. Stop catching it. I can't wait to see them when they're done. Yeah, um, we're gonna equip everybody with them when we go to fight Sin next stream, so you'll get to see all of the celestial weapons. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Okay. Yeah, just break brother, and then... Try to get to Titus. I want to score one more, but I don't know if I have time before it's going to be half time. I suspect I do not. I think the timer's going to run out even if I do it. Yeah, I don't think 14 seconds is enough. Even if I would have made this, I don't think the animation's going to be done by five minutes. That's what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> the animation for Jack Shot is so long, you guys. It's so long. It's ridiculous. Re, you wanted in here, and now you're looking like you want back out. What's going on, kitty? I mean, doggy. What's going on, doggy? Oh, we don't need to set that new text. I mean, we're all fine. We can keep them. Yes, let's proceed. Kitty, what are you doing today? I mean, besides watching stream, do you have? Are you doing anything fun today, or do you have anything fun planned for this weekend? The dog, I think, just wants the door open, but that's not going to happen because they're playing quadri. You know how this goes. This happens around this time of year, every year. They play cod. It's very loud compared to like anything else that they play. Let's try to put one of them to sleep. I think they're gonna catch it, but I think I might I might be able to at least make one of them sleep. Ooh, okay. Rude, brother. You know, with your low stats. I guess everybody else helped you out, huh? How does he have no break when I was like right on top of him like that? I've been homeschooling while my youngest is quarantined. Hey Jane, welcome in, welcome in. How's it going? How's the homeschooling going, Kitty? Um, I know a lot of people that, you know, since the pandemic have kind of like really changed up how they're doing school for their kids. And, and I've heard some like kind of mixed things of homeschooling and, you know, private schooling and things like that. Um, and uh, heard a lot of mixed things, but you know, 
we are we are in interesting times right now so um yeah how's it going for you uh let's just let's just break and dribble his teacher gave him so much work i've been spending all day trying to get it done this week oh my gosh i'm so sorry that sounds really frustrating I do want to pass. Let's try a nap pass and put another one to sleep. I don't remember, um... I don't remember when I was in school exactly what it was like, but I definitely know there were teachers that tried to act like their class was the only class. They would say things like, it's only 30 minutes of work, and I was like, okay, but if every teacher assigns me only 30 minutes of work, then guess what? I'm doing like three hours of homework. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no regard for what other teachers may be doing or um, what extracurriculars you might have going on or responsibilities at home or anything of that nature. <laughs> Jane, is your, um, is Mr. Jane listening right now? Is, is he, is he in earshot? All right, let's do another jack shot. Go, go, Titus, go, go. Mr. Jane is away, but let me grab my phone and snap him. Okay, I'm gonna give it a few seconds so that you can kind of get Snapchat going. I'll give you a countdown. So five, four, three, two, one. Hey, Mr. Jane, good luck on your galactic Luke. I hope you get him. Uh, Jane said you're still collecting crystals, so hopefully you've got getting enough crystals really soon and you can get him. Okay, bye. I hope that worked, Jane. <laughs> and if not, um, if somebody that's quick can clip it, or after the stream, you can clip it from the VOD if you want, and uh, send him the clip. Okay, go to sleep. Go to sleep, Larbright. Oh, well, Jossie got the ball. I guess that's good enough. Yes, you can break, and we're gonna pass it over to. Yeah, no regular pass this one. We'll pass it over to Waka. Rude! We will not pass it to Waka. They already passed the timestamp. Okay, well, after after the stream, when the VOD goes up, we're at about. We're about 27 minutes into the stream, so go to about. Um, I guess that would be like 25 minutes into the stream, probably. And, um, and we can clip it for him. Someone do that for me, or tell me to do it. Uh, let's break, and then we'll pass over to Titus. Galactic League is proving harder to get than he originally thought, so it'll take some time, he said. Oh, okay. I could never, like, stay dedicated to those kind of, like, gotcha-type games. Um, as some of them get really popular, and I know my husband is, has played some of them, but... My attention span just does not last long enough. I just get I get the overwhelming feeling way too early in the game that um, that it's you know you can't win unless you pay, and I get very frustrated and uh, and stop playing very early. <laughs> no matter how fun any of the mechanics are, I just the feeling like messes me up, you know. Oh, it's gonna be five minutes soon. Mm, we'll just do a nap shot. He's not even going to finish the, the tackle animation. It's going to be halftime. Oh, well, whatever. Stupid Kukon took the ball from me. Y'all can't score no points anyway. Ryu, why do you want out again? He's been at it for years. Yeah, I feel like that's like... I mean, it's like kind of admirable, you know? I definitely could not play that type of game for, for years. It just would not work out for me. We're gonna continue. More Blitzball, more Blitzball, more Blitzball. Yes. No, all the techs are fine. We really don't care about who marks who, but we're just gonna set them. It doesn't really matter at this point if they're really learning any new techs. They've got plenty. Uh, is there... I guess you can do that, Yuma. Yes, okay. 
I'm trying to think if there's really very many games I've played for years and years and years. Um, when I was a kid, I played those Pets games, like Pets with a Z, for years. Um, I've definitely played Sims 2 for years at a time. Stardew Valley I've been playing kind of regularly for years. Um, I think the longest I ever played any Animal Crossing was like a year, um, any version of that. So yeah, I don't know. I think the only kind of games um, that I've played for like a long time is like simulation games. I did do a pet stream. It is back in my archives, Jane. You can find it on um, in the Nostalgia playlist. If you scroll down to the About and click on Nostalgia, that's the that's the playlist for that. <laughs> oh, Jane, I want <laughs> pets again. I hear you, but um, there's only so much entertainment in that game if you're not a child. And really, most of the entertainment in that game, like where I spent a lot of time playing it, was um, editing, doing hex editing on the pets. And uh, and I just don't see a way to make that entertaining in a stream, <laughs> doing pets hex editing. Um, I was totes there. Oh, good. So you were you saw it then. Jane, maybe that's what you should stream. Someday. Someday we can have Jane streams and we can stream pets. Oh my god, dog. Okay, I'll let you out. They have the ball anyway. You're just gonna beg to come back in. I know you are. Go on. Okay. I'm sorry that I cannot keep the door open, animals, but... Too many boom-booms. Jane couldn't stream, I'd be so boring. Please. Please. Jane, you see me doing it. It is not hard. You can totally be entertaining. You're hilarious. I see you. In the chats. Yeah, the boom booms. Just, for some reason, the explosions in COD, they're just like so low or something compared to other games. And so like the, the booms are just like really loud <laughs> compared to all other games. No other game do I have to like totally close the door to block out the noise, but uh, why did you pass it? Oh, because you're waking him up. Uh -huh. Does Mr. Karen always COD when you stream? What a system. No, not always, but when a new COD game comes out, he will, him and, him and Jeff will play COD together for a little bit after dinner and then we'll watch a movie. So normally we would watch like two movies or we watch like a, some TV show and, and a movie or something like that. Um, but uh, but when a new COD game is out for like maybe four, five, six weeks, depends on if the COD game, if they if it's any good, because you know, they're all slightly different and some are better than others. Um, then, uh, then they will play that for a little bit and then it will be movie time. So by the time I'm done streaming, it's movie time. Oh, I don't need to do any breaks. I just need to do a jack shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell Jeff I said hi. Okay, Jane, I'll tell him. I'll say that um, Jane said hi. He'll be like, who's Jane? <laughs> and I'll say one of my viewers. And he'll say, oh, okay, hi, Jane. <laughs> Jeff might be my favorite NPC. Okay, I'll tell him. He won't really understand what that means. He'll be like, why am I an NPC? I'm a person. <laughs> yeah, new game fever. Exactly, Kitty. So, no, they do not always play COD when I stream. Um, but when a new COD game is just come out, they will. Okay. Yes, and then we'll pass it over to Titus. We'll try again. Another jack shot. I don't like that zero on the scoreboard. It needs to be at least a one or a two. Okay. How many do I have? Oh, only three. Okay, I thought it was going to be like all of them. By the way, they were clumping up. Alright. <clears throat> oh god, rude! <sighs> These guys are so annoying. I need to get a point. I mean, I don't have to. I guess I could tie it and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay, everybody, come on, let's get closer to the goal. Um, no, just there. And then we'll pass it over to Titus. Oh, I guess I could have broken two of them, but I didn't. Where do you put your upcoming shows? I know I saw them somewhere. Oh, they are in the um, uh, subscriber chat in the Discord. 
So that's something I used to do on Patreon before I got rid of the, the Patreon. Um, I wasn't even paying attention. What did I choose? Oh, I chose pass. That was dumb. Why did I do that? I should have chose shoot. I was not paying the fuck attention. Uh, okay, well, Waka, you can shoot. We'll do a wither shot. Um, so yeah, I used to put that up on Patreon at the beginning of the month, but since there is no more Patreon, since there's no more spare room, um, well, at least no more scheduled spare room, I'll do the rest of the episodes when I feel like it, as you guys know. Um, I, uh, I'm putting it in the sub chat. Because this is, this is something that I feel also like, I know when you subscribe to Twitch, you get access to like emotes and, and more channel points and things like that, and that's really nice on the platform. But to me, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like enough. Like to me, like this is my content and I should be sharing with you guys things that I have as well. So that's where it is. And when it gets close to the end of the month, I will post what December is going to be. Okay, all these can stay. That's all fine. Yes. Let's try to get another point. <laughs> so we're actually leading. Uh, instead of just one to zero. Not that they ever even get to the goal. December, all pets. Oh, Jane. <laughs> You cracked me up. Mm, I don't think we're gonna make it, but I'll try to nap pass. The bow goes wild when the game starts. It really does. <laughs> it's true. He's not gonna make it. They're gonna catch it. Yep, I knew it. Jane, I don't know how to make more than um, a one-off pet stream entertaining. I'm sorry. But hey, don't forget to do your points in the community challenge for us finishing Doki Doki Literature Club if you haven't done that yet for this stream, Jane. Uh, let's see, that would be... Yeah, we can break both of those. December Tamagotchi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jane, you know how much... You know how much I look at um, at old Tamagotchis on Amazon and like think about buying one? If I knew how to like get the screen of the Tamagotchi to go through Twitch, I would totally consider doing like a, a, like a mini short um, Tamagotchi stream. I'm getting one right now, great idea. You should, they have them on Amazon, like the original like first generation Tamagotchis or second generation Tamagotchis and stuff like that. And I don't know if you guys remember, but several years ago Tamagotchi released a, a phone app where you could play basically play Tamagotchi on your phone. Um, and I played a couple rounds of it, it was pretty fun. I did not hate it. It was, it was good. So there you go, Jane. There's two ideas for a Jane stream. Tamagotchi stream, if you can figure out how to film that properly. And you can stream pets. Don't you play, um, ESO? Is that you? Are you my friend that plays ESO? That's another Jane stream idea. Excuse me. Yeah, so there you go. And I don't want to hear how you wouldn't be entertaining that is not something that would hold, that should hold, excuse me, be holding you back from streaming. Oh no, he's, they actually got all the way to my goal, I can't believe it. Uh, let's nap tackle. Yeah, I didn't think he was gonna make it. He might actually get it in, he's very close. Oh, Waka's level's too low to get spin ball. Interesting. Oh, nope. Good job, Yuma. Good job. I used to stream decorating houses on there, but pretty cringe content. Oh. I don't think I've ever watched a stream like that. Did you, was there an audience for it? Like, did people watch that? I mean, I would watch it if it was you. But, um, but I've never really thought about that. But you know, house decorating shows on, like, HGTV are really crazy popular. So there's gotta be some kind of, like, stream equivalent. Usually watch the recordings. Oh, I see. 
Yeah, I mean, I feel like, I mean, there's a whole channel basically dedicated to that content on network TV, so, like, there's got to be a market for that type of stuff streaming. Wow, so many. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can pass. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> I think that, um, oh, we'll take up Waka. Yeah, well, I didn't think that was going to work anyway. But you've given me, Jane, you've given me an idea of something I need to look up and see, like, what it's like. Like, what would a house decorating stream be like? Because, like, on the shows, on, like, house shows, there's tons of, um, editing involved. But, of course, on a stream, that's one of the things that's a bit different, is you're not, you're not editing it. I mean, I guess you could edit it after and post the edited version, like, to YouTube or something like that. But the stream itself, you know, the active live viewers, that's of course not edited, so. I don't know. Interesting thought, interesting thought. House decorating in ESO, I mean, my house is bonkers. Oh, house decorating in ESO. Well, I, I know there's people that stream that kind of stuff. I know there's people that stream that kind of stuff, and there's people that love watching it like, inspo for their own ESO house. I forgot ESO was one of the ones with houses. Falling asleep in front of my screen. <laughs> well, good night, Koneko. Have a good sleep. Thank you so much for joining us for the stream so far. Always happy to have you here. Alright. Let's break both. Oh, but it doesn't matter because we're about to be out of time. Also, I joined late. Where are we in Blitzball? Okay, so Jane, this is going to be the last Blitzball stream that we're doing. We're finishing a tournament, which a tournament is 10 rounds. Um, I played the first couple of rounds of the tournament off stream because 10 Blitzball games doesn't fit into one stream. But um, this was just round five. So we just did round five. We're about to go into round six. And you can see the first prize, Jupiter Sigil. That's what we need to finish up Waka's Celestial Weapon. Yep, so we're about to do round six. There we go. Yes, proceed. Oh, let's set marks. Yeah, this is gonna be the last Blitzball stream and then we won't ever have to do this silly mini game ever again. Oh, and Jane, we did, um, for the quiz, we did which Cowboy Bebop character are you, which I can link that to you if, uh, if you're interested. I don't know if you, uh, if you watch, uh, much anime or not, now that I think about it. I don't know that I've ever heard you talk really about anime. Uh, let's do a nap pass to Titus. I don't think this is gonna happen, though. I think. Yep, Svanda. Stupid Svanda and her stupid fluffy hat and fluffy coat. How do you play Blitzball and that stuff anyway? I don't know anything about Cowboy Beboppers. Okay, well, we're going to talk about it on Saturday if you would like to learn about it. That is uh, the next Interstage Window episode coming up on Saturday. It's so slow. Why would you shoot from that far back? Oh, well, Yuma can learn spin ball. Wow, and they actually got a goal. I cannot believe it. I guess that spin ball gave him enough where he did that. I play my day to be home by stream. Oh my gosh. Jane, you're the best. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's good. I still have so much to watch. The hub's been so happy with me that I wanted to watch this with him. <laughs> oh, that's too cute, kitty. Um, I am on it, so don't tell Landon. But I might actually just... Tell, tell her on Saturday. It's not like a really a secret or anything, but I don't think I've said it to her like this. It is my quest as part of um, Interstage Window, you know, where we're watching these different things each each month, um, to, uh, to slowly try to turn her into a lead. She is very not into anime. She does not really like uh, serialized cartoons. She really only likes cartoons when it's in movies. So, um, yeah. But, uh, but I'm trying to introduce her to some of the better animes, some of the um, animes that actually have like 
good themes, good characters, good plots, things like that that I think she might enjoy. And so, um, yeah, my, my hope is that someday we'll have watched enough anime that she's like, kind of starts to get it. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know if this is a pipe dream, if this won't happen or what, but uh, but slowly. It's okay, she gets to tell, tell me we have to watch stuff and talk about stuff that I dislike too, so, you know, it's fair. Um, it's a fair compromise, fair trade-off. But yeah. Okay, tied it up. I just need to get another point. It just takes one to click and then she'll want more. Yeah, that's what I feel like, Kitty, because it's just it's just a different medium, you know? It's like somebody saying, oh, I don't like to read. And it's like, well, if you've only ever read books because you were forced to in middle school or high school or something, and then for the most part for your entertainment you watch TV and movies, then of course you think you don't like to read. You've never found a book on your own that you enjoyed. It's so to me, it's it's just a different medium. It's just a different medium. And you have to finally experience one that really speaks to you and then you start to kind of get the different tropes and things like that. And then you're a bit more forgiving on, uh, on the medium. Oh my gosh, stupid. Well, um, Bulgarida's attack is way too high. All right, let's try. We're gonna try passing it. Titus, try to get to the point. But I don't know if this pass is gonna go through. Stupid, stupid Svanda. Ah. <laughs> uh, now tackle. Put her to sleep. Get rid of her, stupid butt. She's too powerful. She's too powerful, guys. That winter coat, swimming, trying to swim in a winter coat, like, she must be, she must be so strong. Just like, so strong. The, the most strong ever. And that's why she's so powerful. No break, we're just gonna pass over to Titus. We're gonna try this again! All right, Titus, let's go. Get up in that goal. And no break. Shoot. Rejection. There we go. <sighs> Good job, Titus. Good job, Titus. Okay. We win again! Even though, it, well, this is the, since this is the tournament, we have 10 games, we actually can, like, lose a couple and it wouldn't be a big deal. I'm sure we would still win the whole tournament, but I don't want to lose if we can help it. But we're already, this is game number six, and we haven't lost one yet, so. Swan is just too, she's just too strong. Too strong. But imagine if they did actually, like, change people's models so that they actually had, like, separate Blitzball models. That would be crazy. <laughs> that would, like, double up so many of the models in this game, so they probably just didn't bother. Just did not have the, you know, the capacity in the PlayStation 2 times to even consider having the separate models for Blitzball, for people's outfits that didn't make any Blitzball sense. Okay, let's do all that. Yes, proceed. Done. We can keep all that. That's done. One crazy question that Karen of all people would know. What are the symbols around the arena and goals? Is it like magic or is it just their language? It is their language, Jane. It is their language. Um, there is a script for the Spira language, for actually a couple of the languages in, in Spira in this world. And um, a lot of the text is straight up translatable. Like in Luca, which is where we are now technically because that's where the Blitzball arena is. But in Luca, if you go into the cafe, there is a menu off to the side and it actually does translate into like menu items. Like it's like, it says like coffee and eggs and things like that. Um, I don't remember what the exact translations are of the menu, I'd have to look it up, but I know that you can directly translate what's on there, and it, it, it is like a cafe menu. Yeah. Yep, it's very cool. It's very cool. So there's two main languages in Spira. There is the regular Spiran language, I guess you would call it. Um, there's not really a... It's not really named anything, it's like their version of common tongue. 
and, uh, and most of the population speaks that. And then there is a second language called Albed, which you know we've, we've collected the primers and uh, learned almost all of Albed. We've got one more primer in the game that we have to get. We'll get that at some point. Um, but it's kind of, it only is in post-game content, so that's why I haven't gotten it. Um, but uh, there's the Albed, and the reason why, and the Albed is just a cipher, it's not a totally separate language. But the reason why Albed exists is because um, those people are, are persecuted, and part of their persecution was being forbidden from communicating, uh, you know, from keeping records in the, in the common tongue. So they developed a cipher of the, of the common tongue called Albed. And that is primarily what they speak. And now they've done it for, um, a, I think, two generations at this point. And um, to the point that a lot of Albed that are that are born uh, now in the world in like the present day of the game don't even speak the common tongue. They can't because um, it's just been too long since their people did it or they had any need for it. It's really awesome that you learned this and can remember it off the cuff. <laughs> <laughs> I really love this game. I really love this game. I've uh, played it many, many, many freaking times. Um, this chick's ball handling is impressive in the sleeves. True. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, this game um, absolutely captivated my imagination when I first played it. And I've played it now many, many times. And uh, it's got some really neat lore. It's got some really, really neat lore. Uh, there are definitely channels on YouTube as well that talk about Final Fantasy X lore. If you're if you like lore video type of things, you can find them on this game, and um, it's pretty good lore. So if you like that type of video, I would recommend it. I knew she'd know. <laughs> I do know. I do know. <laughs> do y'all ever like watch lore videos though of like fandoms and things that you don't really that aren't like that you're not really a part of, like for books you haven't read or like games you haven't played? do that. I totally do that. It's just really fun sometimes to like know the world building. I feel like I can get uh, good good nuggets from that, like good ideas of things to add into RPs and, uh, and worlds and things like that. Uh, yeah, we'll break and then we'll do a spear shot. And y'all know all my favorite games pretty much are either simulation games or it's because they have an excellent story. Um, I mean, I got really sucked in when we played for the stream when we played Doki Doki Literature Club because, like, the story just absolutely captivated me. Um, which I'll talk more about that uh, if, if and when we get around to finishing doing the final stream of that game. Because I didn't understand I wasn't really at the end. <laughs> we first did the blind playthrough, but now I know. <laughs> uh, and it gets crazy. Uh, no, let's just pass. Let's just pass. We can pass over to Waka, though, because we've already got three points. And it's almost time. I forgot about long arms. Oh, yeah. Lady long arms. Uh, yeah, we can break. We only got five seconds. It's just like, just let it play out. Just let it count down. And we need to take a knee option. You know what I mean? I want to see some Blitzball cosplay BRB. There's got to be. There's got to be some Blitzball cosplay out there. Definitely, I would say, of Titus or Waka with a Blitzball. Like, I'm sure someone has made a cos cosplay of one of those two holding their Blitzball. I don't know about any of the um, other random Blitzball players. But there's definitely some interesting models that you would not really notice unless you play a lot of Blitzball, I think. Yeah, continue. Round seven. Ah, oh, thank you, Jane. Community challenge is now 25% coin fleet.
I measure time in resubbing. <laughs> oh, like if it's time to resub, you know a month has gone by? That's funny, Jane. Alright, and let's pass. No, a regular pass is fine. We'll go to Titus. All right, the Ronsos are so slow. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get a shot this early on. They so slow, so slow swimming. <sighs> oh yeah, good job, Titus. You to star. how fast we're going, I'm almost wondering if we could have finished the whole tournament in a single stream. I think because I'm, as I'm getting better, like, the games just go faster and faster, you know? Tomorrow I get my gold dragon that I'll be cool like Lunar. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's, that's really cool, kitty. I need to actually, I have this, I, I need to actually redo, um, my sub badges and, uh, fit badges at some point, I feel. I just feel like they could be be better, you know, because the emotes, I feel like, because I have an actual artist do those, they're such good quality. But for the bits and for the um, sub badges, I just got those off of Noun Project. I have a Noun Project subscription. So I downloaded a unicorn and a dragon, and then I've recolored them a bunch. Because I knew, like, Noun Project, I could find very simple design that would show up well. But I look at some other people's, like, bit badges and sub badges, and I think, like, I need cooler ones. I need cooler ones. Mine are too plain. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, I don't know. Oh, thank you so much for the raid, Maclemax. Um, uh, somebody that's that's got mod powers, can you do a shout out for Maclemax, please? I like tap water's water drops. Yeah, the water drops look so good, right? And they're really nice and simple. Um, and they're um, and like they, but they still look good. I'm doing really good, Maclemax. Um, no at, just exclamation shout out. Oh wait, no, it did work, okay. Oh, Hollow Knight. Uh, how was Hollow Knight, Maclemax? If you if you feel like talking about it. I know after I stream, when I raid, like I'm not paying a damn bit of attention to the person I raid. I'm just like, okay, bye guys, and I log off, I'm tired. <laughs> um, it's hard? Oh. Um, I've never played Hollow Knight, but I know it's very popular. A lot of people really like that game. But I have to say, uh, I have to admit I don't know much about it, except that it's kind of like an, an indie, indie darling sort of game. Yeah, I got stuck in a boss right at the end. Oh, oh, that sucks. Are you going to try to beat him next time, or are you going to try to do it off stream? Sometimes if I don't know a game very well, trying to like process everything that I'm gathering from the game, during a stream is like too much, you know what I mean? And I have to like learn it, practice off stream a little bit to be able to play it and still like engage with chat and all of that stuff at the same time, you know? Oh, look at that, you guys. Oreo Boomin' Lady. Oh, look her. She licked the ear. They're so cute. They're so cute. It's really good. I might try a couple times before stream tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I would do if I get stuck on a boss. Practice a little bit off stream. And then, um, and then I can probably do it again on stream, you know? Uh, okay. We're gonna go ahead and try to shoot. I think this is a bad idea. I think I'm too far from the goal, but we're gonna try it. No, nope, didn't matter because <laughs> she got it. Oh, okay. Queen, you got some tacks. You got some tacks. Um, Kitty, she's sleeping. <laughs> but I just told her. She's right there by the window. But, uh, she's sleeping. I'll be lurking now. Have a good rest of the stream. Thank you so much, Maclemax. We love our lurkers here. Uh, you are more than welcome to lurk. Thank you so much for the raid again. And welcome in to the raiders. Uh, by the way, I am Karen. I am a variety streamer. On Thursdays, we, we play games. It's kind of a little bit of whatever I want. 
um, type of variety stream, but on Saturdays is where the real show happens, and I do live video essays. Um, and uh, on Saturday, this coming up, we're going to be talking about Cowboy Bebop. So if you uh, are interested, if you like Cowboy Bebop, or if you're curious about it, come join on Saturday. We're going to be talking about it. And then you'll know everything you need to know to be ready to watch the live action version um, that's coming out on Netflix. Which, although I'm very nervous about, I will probably be watching. Because I just cannot help myself. I'll watch at least a couple episodes before I give up on it, even if I don't like them. Half time. All right. <laughs> Kitties don't fight. <laughs> I prefer they fight with each other than with my stuff. Lady has decided now that her favorite activity is to jump up on that table right there and eat Evie's ears. It's driving me nuts. That Evie was a gift. My husband got that for me when he saw it um, at, a, at a game store and um, like he didn't order it or anything. He actually like went and searched for it and found it. And so like it's really annoying that she's like making little freaking stupid dents in the ears. Yeah. I mean they're they're little. I mean they're they're, they're young and so they don't know anything. Um but they're they're very hyper also. So I try to like distract her with the toys instead, but it's not working. She really wants to eat the Eevee's ears. And I don't want to replace that one with another Eevee because it does have sentimental value. Because normally I'd just say, well, let her eat it. I'll just buy another Eevee, you know, when she's older. And they're not eating things anymore. And the kittens aren't eating things anymore. But, um, yeah, I don't want to actually replace that one specifically. So, hopefully she will stop. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to train her. But it's very hard to train a kitty cat. They don't really care what your opinion is on anything. Alright, Waka, can you get it? Oh no, he's gonna throw. Of course he is. Never mind. I'm up two anyway, so they probably can't... They probably can't win. They'd have to get three goals on me. This won't happen. Yeah, for sure. I wonder if I could lose if I've got, um, so if my level is so high that I even could lose Blitzball at this point. If I, like, just totally didn't try, what would happen? Let's pass over to Waka. Here, you can shoot Waka. Let's do a weather shot. I've wanted left silicone rubber so much. We have to hide spatulas and rubber. Pam bracelets, Lego tires, anything. Choose it all. Oh my gosh. What is it with animals loving to eat silicone? I don't understand, but they do. They really, really do. Sil Lady loves vinyl, silicone, anything that's like got that, that soft, hard, soft, hard consistency. You know what I mean? Like vinyl and silicone are good examples. Um, anything like that, she loves to eat it. And um, Oreo's favorite is very, very soft cloth things. Um, so he, he loves to eat socks. He will go and find your socks and eat them. Um, his second favorite is paper towels. He will absolutely destroy a paper towel roll if you let him. Um, toilet paper, uh, anything like that. And we try to, try to like redirect with toys, right? Like soft toys. He has plenty of those. Um, but he does not discriminate between what is a toy and what is not a toy. So, it's a problem. Uh, let's pass. 
Oh, I used to fill old socks with catnip and tie them off. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe then he'll like have a favorite sock. I don't know, Jeff was thinking like, apparently he has a pair of old socks that he doesn't want anymore. Um, and he was thinking of like, just giving them to Oreo and say like, that's your toys now, but I don't know. I don't know if he'll, if he'll care so much or if he'll just be like, I still want to eat all the socks. Yeah, encouraging it is part is a big problem. Cause I think I think that's part of it. Like they I don't think they really understand the difference between like what is a cat toy and what is actually like something in the home, you know? <laughs> like they just don't they just don't know. Okay, we're gonna let Nada shoot. I don't think she can, but we're gonna let her. Oh yeah, she couldn't. Oh but Titus got it. Okay. Well here we go then. Uh yeah, you can break. And we'll do a sphere shot. That is that is a clever idea for a cheap cat toy. But they have plenty of cat toys. Like we do not need cat toys. Um, we don't need to like make any cat toys. Like they have a ton of them. Um, <laughs> they just don't know the difference between what's their toy and what is not their toy. <laughs> so they eat everything. What's up, lady? You want out? Is that why you meow? Oh, hang on. Hang on, lady. Yeah, thank you for being patient. Do a jack shot. Okay, I'll let you out while I do the jack shot. Okay, come on. There you go. It's open now. You can go. Yeah. The best thing I ever did was hang replaceable scratcher pads in the corners of my couch. Oh. You know, they're not too bad about scratching. We've actually never had a problem with a cat scratching too much. Um, we have we keep scratching posts and, and they seem to like that better than any of the materials they shouldn't be scratching. I think the only things we really have trouble getting with getting claw marks in really isn't from scratching. It's like curtains, because they'll try to like climb the curtains, you know? Ash did that. Lady does some of that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we've just never, we've never had that problem. Okay, round eight. Okay, texts are good. The only thing I can really think about how we avoided that as the as a problem was that. Queen was never interested in anything else but her but her sca scratching post cat tree area, and um, all the other cats have just followed suit from her. Um, they don't really scratch stuff up. I don't know. Just climbing the curtains is the only scratching problems that we have. It's not even really a scratching problem, but their claw marks do get all up in it. All right, let's pass over to. No, no one was home. She trained them very cleanly. <laughs> that I feel like that must be it, because I don't know how else. I don't know how else, because we we get a new um, we get a new cat tree every couple of years, because you know they just destroy it eventually. Um, I was not paying enough attention. I didn't go fast enough. I should have been able to get the shot. But this. Rude. If you scratch human shit, you're basic queen. <laughs> there you go. It's true. That is probably exactly what she says. <laughs> She's like, do you want to be basic? And the kittens are like, no. Of course we don't want to be basic. Well then, this is where you scratch. Alright. Let's do this right this time. And not, like, not pay attention and not move when Titus has the ball. And actually get a goal. You know, one thing I will miss when there's no more Blitzball streams or when after this stream is that Blitzball music. It's so hype. It's like so hype and like exciting. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, I have to grab another, my other earbud. This one's dying. I'm gonna get really close to the camera for a second.
I will miss the Blitz music. Yeah, I mean, it's good, right? It's, um, it's like really exciting. I mean, the music in this game in general is pretty good, but the Blitz music is particularly good. I have to go back and watch the VODs to get more Blitz music. <laughs> That's exactly what the music sounds like, Jane. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, I have to show you guys something else too. You know how I always like to have like those uh, those grippy socks, and then I have to buy new ones, or at least I've had to buy a lot of new ones since the pandemic, since I've been home all the time, wearing them all the time, because I wear, I wear out the heels. I used to not, not wear them out so bad, but um, now since the pandemic I started wearing them out really bad, and uh, I've bought like several pairs. You guys that have been, you know, hanging out with me for a while know this. But um, based on that, look what my parents got me. They got me actually like slipper shoes. And they're like, they're actually shoe shaped and the bottoms are way sturdier with more grippies. So hopefully I will not rub the heels out of these so, um, so quickly. Uh, they're actually like Bombas brand, which I've, I've gotten some Bombas socks before and they're pretty good quality. So I'm excited. Hopefully these will last much longer than the uh, cheap grippy socks that I had been buying, you know, a new pair every six months previously. Yeah, <laughs> I was just looking at those. I was looking at them in my own camera too, behind me, um, because I was thinking, my foot is cold. <laughs> I was like, my foot is cold, I should put my socks back on. Um, and I was like, ooh, my grippy socks are in the back now, my grippy sock shoes. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm gonna put them on as soon as they have the ball again. Yeah, good resisting to this. And this is, I think, um, a small size or a medium size, and I normally wear like a size eight or eight and a half shoe. And I don't know, I'm sure y'all can probably have this problem too, this is probably normal, but I don't know. Y'all tell me if it's normal or not normal. <laughs> but one of my feet is, uh, is bigger than the other, like, by a not insignificant amount. Um, I would show you, but I'm not gonna like purposefully show feet on camera uh, because the internet is weird. <laughs> but yeah, one of my feet is like kind of a lot bigger than the other. So like one sock fits perfectly and the other one is ever so slightly tight. So I'm hoping the more I wear these, I can kind of like stretch that out a little bit and then they'll both fit perfectly. Um, really like snug and uh, my feet will be super warm all the time. Uh, let's do this, and we'll pass over to Waka. We don't need to pass it. We already have two points. We don't need to pass the Titus. Let's let Waka try to score some goals. A half size is normal. Yeah, I think that's about, I mean, it can't even, it might not even be a whole half size that they're, that they're different, but they're just different enough that I can really notice in certain pairs of shoes, you know? <laughs> um, they make shoe stretchers to do the hard work for you. Oh, oh, that's good to know, Kitty. That's good to know. I mean, I think I can do it. I think I can probably do it on my own, because I'll, especially now that it's like getting colder, it's in winter, you know, fall right now, and it's gonna be winter temperatures very soon. Um, I think that I'll probably stretch it out on my own without any trouble, but, uh, but that's good to know. There are definitely some other pairs of shoes that uh, I will I will not wear enough to stretch out on my own, and they're very annoying to wear actually uh, because of that. Those can all stay. Yes. I lost count. 
You lost count of what? What did you lose count of, kitty? Is this eight or nine? I think this is game eight. We'll find out soon. We'll find out after this. Find out in about six or seven minutes. But I think this is game eight. I think we've got two more games after this one. We're gonna shoot a jack shot. So I'm really excited for this dice making thing, guys. I have to tell you, um, I've got almost everything I need for the mold. I just gotta wait for um, a glue gun, which I, I ordered. I could have sworn I had a glue gun in the house at one point in time, but when I went to go look for it, I could not find a glue gun or any glue sticks. So no glue gun or evidence that we ever had a glue gun. So I must have just made it up in my head. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe we had one once upon a time and we broke it. I'm not really too sure. But um, I went ahead and ordered the glue gun this morning because that was the last thing I needed to be able to make the mold. So hopefully that will come tomorrow and um, and I'll actually start making the mold like maybe Saturday morning or something. Um, and then once I have a mold, I can actually use the resin to make dice. I'm very, very excited. But making the mold of a current set of dice that I have is step one. So I'm probably gonna be able to do that Saturday. And I found, of course, because of course there is, uh, a Discord server for dice making. So if things go horribly, terribly wrong, I can go in there and, and cry and ask a billion questions. Like, why didn't this work like the YouTube videos? <gasps> yeah, that is how it's done. You make a mold and then you, it, it's out of silicone and then you put your resin in the silicone mold to make the dice. That is how you do it. Let's pass. No, we can do a normal pass, it's fine. Don't need a fancy pass. It's gonna be a really fun thing, hard work for you, but fun. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. Just some people's like handmade dice are like the most beautiful things in the world to me. And I also feel like, I also feel like, I don't know. Maybe this is just like, maybe this is just totally wrong and I'm totally misunderstanding um, resin and, uh, and, and stuff like that, but I feel like I must already have a little bit of an affinity for working with resin and plastics and things like that, because that's what nail polish is. I mean, it, this is basically a type of plastic, like acrylic, um, and, and nail varnish and things like that, that you use for, for painting your nails. It's, it's all just a very particular type of plastic. So, um, I feel like that's another reason that I'm quite drawn to the idea of making things out of resin. It feels like a natural progression to me of the um, of painting my nails, which I do every week anyway, and, uh, and nail art techniques that I've learned and things like that. So yeah, that's what I think about that and, and kind of like part of why I'm so drawn to it. And there's just all these people with really beautiful pictures on Instagram and Twitter of their handmade dice. We are creative with design. I'm excited to see what you come up with. Uh, thank you so much, Kitty. We'll see. First, I just gotta learn how to do it, you know? Come on, man. Come on. Yes, she was thirsty. I pulled the water in here thinking it would make her not want to in out and out, you know, during the stream, but that didn't work. <laughs> she still wants the animals still want the door open, go in out and out. Yeah, there's the re re. Oh, I have the ball. I have the ball. Y'all can have it back though, because I already got four points. So I really, really don't need the ball. I'm good. I'm good. Dog, you are the messiest drinker in the whole world. I'm on the train, choo choo, riding. Woo woo. 
Training to zone. Training to zone. Can we pick up the other two? Come on, guys. Let's get a whole train going. Choo choo, choo choo. Training to zone. Okay, let's get the last one. There we go. Oh, time's up. <laughs> I was wondering what she was doing. It looked like she was making dough. Oh no, she was drinking water. She was drinking water. I could hear her doing it, so I knew what she was doing. <laughs> yeah, that was round eight. So we've got two more games. Let's continue. Oh my gosh. B L I T Z Z Z Z B A L L L L L L. <laughs> oh my gosh, the way the text to speak said that, Jane. <laughs> B L I T Z Z Z Z B A L L L L L. <laughs> oh, it cracks me up. Well, thank you so much for using your prime on me, um, Jane. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> that was the best. That was the best um, thing to type in there. I would make a great Blitzball cheerleader. You would. Jane, in, in my heart, you're already a Blitzball cheerleader. You're my Blitzball cheerleader. I'll have to dab my eyes. <laughs> they made me laugh too much. Let's uh, break. Wow. Rude. Need to get a point. We can get on the board. So y'all stop taking the ball from me. God, I remember when Kill Like a Beast sucked. When you had to go get brother and like, you know, actually do things. So annoying. Wow, nobody was even on him. He's too fast. He swims too fast. But you should have tried to shoot, brother. You would have never made it. Come on, Jossu, get him. Ree, what are you doing back there? She's like, I can see that she's like knocking the uh, tripod for the camera and the light that are back there. What are you doing? Uh oh. I think she's comfy now. No more vibration station with the light and uh, camera. Okay, lady, I hear you. I hear you. Come on. Come on. Yep, you're back in. Can I break these guys? I can break one. I guess I can pass over to walk up. It's annoying. These guys got better. They're supposed to suck. I was about to say he's such a fast swimmer. Yeah, he is. Brother's like a lightning fast swimmer. That's why a lot of guides will recommend to get him, but his stats are actually not that good. He's just, he's really good at winning early games. But, um, yeah, I just didn't, yeah, I just don't care about that as much. Yeah, good job, Rin. Good job, Tackle Slip. I want to be famous. I want to be famous. Make me famous, bot. Mr. Stackins. Make me famous. Oh, wait. 
Oh, I got the ball. Come on, Titus, get closer to the goal. Oh my god! So annoying! Stop taking the ball from me! I should have gotten that. When I'm not mobile, I can't ever see the button to do that until it's too late. <laughs> um, it, it has a button for me. I don't have to make any extra clicks. It's just one click for me on Streamlabs. The only thing that's kind of annoying is having to grab the mouse when I've got the controller in my hand. So, um, so sometimes I can do it really fast. I was brushing my hair. <laughs> well, does your hair look beautiful now, Jane? Because if so, then it's worth it. I don't know why the bots still use that message. I feel like that's the bot message I've been seeing since I started streaming, like, I want to say like two years ago. I can hear the cats messing with things back there. Getting up to shenanigans. Lady. Causing problems. Okay, we gotta get a point this time. I look like a drowned rat. No tangles, though. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you just need to blow dry it, and then you'll be, you'll be all good. No more drowned rat. I might, we might actually tie this game. Because <laughs> they're actually kind of good. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully not. Hopefully we can win. But it's okay. If we, even if we lose this game, if we tie this game, um, we'll still win the tournament. It would be really hard for us to lose the whole tournament at this point. Why are you doing a sphere shot from all the way back here? You are not gonna make it, my friend. I'm super goalie. Hold you. All right, Rin, let's go. Okay, Titus, it's time to get our point. Score, score, score. Lady just can't help herself. She just has to mess with everything. What are you doing, lady? These are not places for kitty cats. Did you lay on the bed like the other cats? She says, no, of course not. Why would you think I would do that? Yay, we got a point. Okay, we shouldn't lose now. She's chewing on a bag of almonds, but it's sealed, so it's just the bag. Lady, if you're hungry, you know where the food is. You do. Craziness. This cat's full of craziness. At least my goalie's getting to do something this game. They're actually making it to the goal. So that's good for her. She's not bored. I like the overalls. I like the overalls too. They look pretty cool. Brother's got a good unique model. Nate is the best though. She's the only one that's playing Blitzball in her um, bathing suit, which makes sense. No one else is doing that, except for Nada. She's out here taking it really seriously. That's why she's the best defender. And I can I can hear Lady back there. It's time to eat lights now. 
<laughs> Time to eat strings of lights. Meow, 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 meow. Lights. Okay. Let's try that again. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if someone's gonna sub at tier 3, then, like, like, that's a lot. And the only thing that you get from Twitch is, like, I mean, you get Buku channel points. So, I mean, maybe that's worth something to somebody. Um, but you only get, like, one extra emote. There's only, like, one emote slot that you get extra for a tier 3, and I'm just like, that is not enough. That is not enough for somebody subscribing at tier 3. So, um, me and Landon, um, brainstormed that. And that's what we're gonna do. If anybody actually subscribes at tier 3, we'll send you a postcard. No one's ever subscribed to tier 3, by the way, to, the, to this day, so... <laughs> but I just feel like if someone did, one extra emote like that is not enough. prize. Ah, oh, thank you so much, kitty. I agonized over what it should be, because I kept, like, really not being able to think of anything, because, I mean, the giving away a, a PDF copy of my book, well, that's simple. I was giving that away on Patreon as well, so that's obvious, but Twitch doesn't have, like, a good um, fulfillment system where I could, like, say, oh, if you subscribe at this point, like, you'll get, like, a, a sticker or a t-shirt or something. Like, I mean, I can on Streamlabs set up a merch shop where you can buy those things, but it's not, like, it doesn't have a system where it will, like, automatically send you something based on a subscription. Like, that's just not a thing. So I was like, what, what can I add? What can I add? I have no idea what to do for my tier three people. Um, so that's what Landon and I came up with from chatting about it. And, uh, so I'm glad you think it's a good idea, because I really have no idea. I don't know what- I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what do people even want? I have no idea. Oh my god, lady, stop meowing. I'm not gonna let you eat lights. So if you're not successful on your own, then that's on you. I do too. Oh, uh, thank you, Jane. That makes me feel so much better about that choice. Because I don't know, I'm like, I don't know, maybe that's lame. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back because I want to save. Because we only have one more game of Blitzball, guys. Oh, no, let's do new save data. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, round 10, y'all. This is the last game of Blitzball on this stream. So here we go. It's against the Albed Sykes. They actually can be kind of annoying, so let's see. Let's see how it goes. Hell yeah. Let's go. Last chance, last chance of hearing this song too. The best part of Blitzball is the Blitzball music. <laughs> I'm probably gonna go to bed tonight with this music still in my head. Um, I would not be surprised. <laughs> this one's for all the money. It's true. It's true. We're gonna get the big prize. The biggestest, prizest of them all. three of them. They're just two on top of each other. I was like, why do they look weird? Oh, because those two guys are hugging. What are the teams? It's, um, we're the, um, Aurochs, the Besaid Aurochs, and they are the Albed Sykes. We're playing against the Albed Sykes. I'll eat Halloween candy instead of biting my nails. Good choice, kitty. Good choice. Halloween candy's awesome, and, um, biting your nails is no bueno, so good choice. Let's get another point, lady. Oh, hi. Maybe don't, like, walk on the desk. 
I have things pretty organized, so there's like not a lot of cords everywhere. They're kind of like concentrated in, in clumps. Um, so she has a lot of room to roam. And now I'm kind of like thinking maybe I shouldn't have done so much cord management. <laughs> and uh, then she wouldn't be roaming everywhere as much. No breaks, but I think that they're gonna catch it. Her pass. Lady is serious. She does not understand. The only thing serious in Lady's life is her getting attention whenever she wants it. <laughs> okay, she's on the floor now. Lady, what happened to just jumping in my lap and being satisfied with that? Now you gotta climb all over everything? It's kind of a lot. We've been doing this a lot lately. Come on, indeed. Hell yeah, good job, Nita. Alright, let's get close to the goal, guys. Oh my god. Rock, what's wrong with you? That was my ball. I'm gonna take it back. Told you. Yay, Yay Karen! Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the biddies, kitty. <laughs> uh, that was well placed. You like that too, lady? Where are you? Oh my god. You want back out? Okay. Go ahead. She's silly. She's so silly. Um, no breaks. This Rop is taking the ball way too often. I dislike it. He needs to stop. It's rude. Doesn't he know that ball belongs to me? I need the Jupiter sigil so I can go beat Sin. Don't you guys want me to beat Sin? Isn't that like the whole the whole thing? We're gonna defeat Sin, and that'll benefit everyone, all of Spira. And y'all are here like working against me. Rop is the best name so far. <laughs> Most of the names in this game I feel like are pretty good. Alright, half time. And we're up one. Alright. Second half of the last game. Can we do it, guys? I think we can. I think we can do it. Good job, Rin. That's why I keep you around. Alright, put someone to sleep with this nap pass. Mr. Plane, Mr. Jane's plane just landed and he said, Go, Karen. Thank you so much, Mr. Jane. Thank you so much. I hope you have a, a good trip, by the way, Mr. Jane, and everything goes well. But I assume he's already past the annoying part because airports are very annoying. Especially now. They've they've been pretty annoying for a while, but they're even more annoying now with the, the pandemic going on, so. Um, I don't know why you shot from that far back. There's no way you're gonna get it in there. It's like desperation. Don't be desperate, guys. Just be chill. Be one with the beats. 
all up on me. Can you put any of them to sleep? Let's find out. Oh, I have the tiger. Duh! Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Can't do the drums and the um, tune at the same time. But if I could, someone edit that together. Me doing that. I would like to get another point so we can be sure to win instead of potentially tying. They just won't let me have the ball. Yeah, your shot went all the way to zero. This is not happening. They're so desperate. They're so desperate. It's like they don't want me to get the Jupiter sigil to be strong against Sin. Why do you guys not want me to beat Sin? You would think the Albed Sykes of all people would be like on my side since they don't want to um, sacrifice the summoners, they would be interested in my plan to just kill Sin once and for all. But their Blitzball team, I guess, did not get the memo. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. But their Blitzball team did not get the memo. They don't understand. Yeah, they're who's team blocking Titus, exactly. Oh my gosh, I put Nada asleep. Rude. You are so far away from everyone, Biggs. Like, well, I guess if he passed his Azzy, that's fine. He was right there. He was like the only one right there. Well, I guess y'all can just pass the ball back and forth, that's fine. <laughs> Biggs, your shot is not good enough. I don't think you're gonna- you can do it. I mean, unless Super Goalie just totally fails me. Oh, I missed the tech copy, oh well. It's the last game anyway, we're never gonna play any Blitzball after this. choose to wake up Nita. I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Alright, guys. Guess what that means. Ah! We win. We are the win -rar. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray. I said we did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kitty. League season over. Congratulations. The Besaid Orox have ended the season at number one. Please accept this prize. <laughs> Thank you for the whistle. Jupiter Sigil. Titus is the top scorer. Uh, we can learn some ability. Oh, we couldn't. None of our players could learn the ability he won. Whatever. Who cares? All right. Wow! <laughs> it is pretty wow, Jane. It is pretty wow. Okay. Let's save. And here we go. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for the applause. Have you the celestial weapons? Yes. Waka. Yes. I feel so accomplished. So I have a secret to tell you guys. Even though I've played the hell out of this game and I've done pretty much everything in this game, I have never, within one single playthrough, gotten all the Celestial Weapons. So, um, this is the first time. I, I feel very accomplished right now. Um, no, we don't need to present other weapons. But here's what we will do. We're gonna equip everybody Celestial Weapons. Actually, let's do this first. Let's organize. Sort. And we'll auto-sort the... We have a bunch of extra, like, weapons and crap. Oh, no, that's fine. Um, let's equip. We're gonna equip Titus with... So here's his brotherhood. Yeah, 
Yeah, this one. Caldebog. So break damage limit, triple overdrive, evade encounter, and magic counter. And then we've got Masamune for him. We've got World Champion for Waka. We've got Onion Knight for Lulu. We've got God Hand for Riku. And we've got Nirvana for Yuna. Oh, and Kimari. Kimari gets, what is his called? Oh, Spirit Lance. There we go. Now everybody has their Celestial Weapons all equipped. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> Jane, it's a cry-worthy experience. It's a cry-worthy experience, I understand. Saving the magic for stream so you can share it. It's the first time I've ever gotten all the Celestial Weapons within one playthrough, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm feeling pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's board the airship. I wanna show you guys one other thing. Um, we're gonna go collect our prizes for doing some more of the monster capturing that we did last stream. Yes, let's go to Calm Lands. Here we go! Oh my god, are we gonna take a picture? <laughs> I don't think we can. I don't think there's a way to get all the characters um, in one photo, but that would be really cool. Yes, I would like to ride a chocobo. And we're gonna look at, um, Queen, why are you up there? Are you learning from Lady? Go in places you're not supposed to go? Well, you better not chew on Eevee while you're up there. You can just sit quietly, that's fine. You got more taxes, by the way, Queen. I hope you're happy with that. Okay. I've mixed all kinds of flan together and created a real nasty one. Here's twin stars. Nope, we do not. Alright, let's see what else he's got for us. I've done it. I've created a monster. This is a fabulous day. Come on, Kiddo, help me celebrate. 99 gambler spirits. Not now. So we're collecting all of the rest of our prizes from this. Now, there is a couple of other, two other areas where we can um, collect monsters that we have not unlocked yet. They will be coming up soon. But from all of the areas that we've actually been, we've gotten all the monsters, so I'll show you guys. So here's Besaid. We got 10 of each of those guys. We got 10 of each of the Kilika monsters. We got 10 of each of the um, Meehan High Road monsters. For Mushroom Rock Road, we've got 10 of each of those. For Jose Road, we've got 10 of each of those. Thunder Plains, 10 of each of those. Makalania, 10's all the way down. Beaconel, um, Calmlands, Stolen, Cavern of the Stolen Faith, we finally got those 10 ghosts. Mount Gagazette, we got all those guys. Um, this is an, un an unknown area, so we'll unlock that soon. We've got the Omega Dungeon, that's an area that we have not actually gone to. Um, these are all the area conquests that we've unlocked, so you can see we've unlocked all of those except for those two, two areas, Omega Dungeon and this unknown area. Species Conquest, we've unlocked a whole bunch of those, but not all of them. And then the originals, these are um, just other things that he will make for you. We've unlocked most of those, but not all of them. So very, very exciting. Um, okay. So I wanted to show off that because we have gotten that far. I'm gonna go ahead and save again. It's so cool. We've gotten so far in this game, guys. Okay, so what that means is next Thursday we will be streaming Final Fantasy X again and we're actually going to go fight Sin. So I gotta get ready. Um, it has been so many streams since we were actually on the story in this game. So um, I actually need, feel like I need to do a little bit of a plot summary for everybody. Um, do y'all feel like you need that? I feel like we need that because it's just been so long since we've engaged with the plot. We've been doing side quests for so freaking long. So I'll do a little plot summary at the start and then we will go and, uh, and begin the defeat of Sin. What are you doing? You getting in trouble? She's trying to make trouble. Don't leave out the kissing. Okay. 
yeah, just to walk back through it. Yeah, I agree. It's just been, it's been like so long because it took so long to do all these side quests, but we finally have done them. Um, and we're going to go beat Sin and, uh, and actually finish the game. Now there is some stuff after that because we're not quite at the point of no return in the game yet. So, um, so we'll see about kind of doing some of that bonus content in the game. But, uh, but yeah. All right, guys. Um, so we are going to end a little bit early today, kind of because of that. Let me switch back to the webcam. Okay, and we can close this. All right. Let's find two to go ahead and raid. Oh, apparently I was watching Macomax before because now I'm watching myself on, on Twitch. <gasps> okay, it looks like Miss Cupcake is streaming. It's been a second since we... Um, since we uh, raided into her, she's playing the Mortuary Assistant. And I'm just waiting for the ad to go to make sure um, everything's going good on her stream before we actually raid into it. I have a Takis ad. Takis are delicious. I want some. Ooh. Ooh, this game looks sufficiently creepy. All right. This looks like a nice, fun, scary game. So we're going to raid into Miss Cupcake. Oh, nope, that's not, that's not the right name. Type right, Karen. There we go, that's the right person. All right, guys, so on next Thursday, we'll be doing more Final Fantasy. We're going to go defeat Sin. On Saturday, we're going to be talking all about Cowboy Bebop. So if you've seen Cowboy Bebop, or um, if you're interested in learning more about it, then come visit on Saturday. And um, hopefully I will have some dice making updates for you guys. Um, so you can find me in all of the usual places. I do the same things that a lot of other uh, content creators do. So you guys know how that works. There's all my socials there. You can follow me in all the areas and, and all that good stuff. Uh, thank you so much, Jane. It was super awesome. We've got all the celestial weapons. We are ready. We're ready to go kick Sin's booty. I'm, I'm ready. I hope you're ready. We'll do that on Thursday. All right, guys. And don't forget, as always, of course, to make it a great day. All right, go have fun watching The Mortuary Assistant from Miss Cupcake.